What a lot of you probably don't know is I'm a gamer. Yes, I am a gamer. And through the years, I have collected uh, not a lot of video game magazines. Why? Well, let's take a note. 2011 was the first year the local magazine drive actually you know, sponsored video game magazines. What did I subscribe to? Game Pro. Yes, I subscribed to Game Pro. And right when the de November 2011 issue was about to come out, I received PC World in the ma in the mail. I wondered what my PC World. Then I found the letter and I read it. Basically, Game Pro after October 2011 closed the doors. However, in the last issue, they announced that they would be releasing Game Pro Quarter. However, due to uh, issues, it never saw the light of day. Nope. One year later, in October 2012, another game that I was just introduced to via Barnes & Noble announced it would be closing their doors. Well, magazine, Nintendo Gamer. This is not the last issue, second to last issue. Anyway. How old is the magazine? 20 years old. They started to... Oh, right around the time of the Link to the Past release. Where is Nintendo Gamer located? According to this magazine. In Europe. Britain, to be more precise. Two months after this, Nintendo Power. Yes, the Nintendo Power, the most famous magazine I know of. Released the final issue. What do I gotta say? Bravo, Nintendo. Bravo. They ended it with a bang. This is actually a callback to issue number one. However, rather than Mario being t chased by, I believe, Wart was his name from Super Mario 2, of course, it's Doki Doki Panic. It instead has Mario killing a Goomba, while another watches in amazement, and Bowser tries to get him. And he's going for the flag. Yes. Now, you're probably wondering, what is in the issue? I'm getting there, I'm getting there. So what's in the issue, you may ask? Well, let's see. Come with me, and we'll be in a world of your imagination. Please don't do me, Universal. I beg of you. First, we go to the letters. Basically, they ask, What was your favorite Nintendo Power issue? Yeah, 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 whatever, whatever. Here's the score. Not important. Now, this is what really caught me off guard. Nintendo Power's all-time favorite games. Basically, they went through. You want to know how many issues they had? Get this. You will find out. Because, basically, every issue, number... My favorite game. The last one on the list, Super Star Wars. A great, great Super Nintendo Entertainment System shooter. What's the first one? Be surprised. The Ocarina of Time. I say Ocarina. I don't know why pre people pronounce it Ocarina. I just think they're going to start singing the Macarena or something. Anyway, here's the poster. What's the poster about, you may wonder. Well, not much, except for every single issue of Nintendo Power, including all their variants. I'm gonna get this frame if I can. So, what else do we have? Greatest Moments in Power. Yes. Every, they look, every single year of Nintendo Power, they're almost 25 year run. And basically comment all about it. Now, unfortunately, where I live, I had not become aware of this magazine until a few years ago. And I tried to find this in my local stores. You can't find them anywhere. Until very recently. Around September is when my stores where I live started stocking this. Well, they just had, well, Xbox magazine. That's it. And here they talk to, uh, old people who actually worked for Nintendo Power. 
you know, people who are retired or still work there. You know, you never know. Fortunately, uh, yeah, water got spilled on it a little bit. Here is their massive 20 page Wii U Outlook. For the little Wii U games. So, let's see what else we got in here. Yes, yes, we know, we know. Okay. Now this really caught me off guard. Howard and Nestor, however, 25 years later, where it's Nestor and Sun Max. Basically, this dude is pretty... Basically, he's got a son. And you know what? <laughs> it's pretty sad when your dad reads to you the first issue of Nintendo Power. It wasn't technically the first issue. It was the Nintendo Fun Club newsletter. And he knows the location of Legend of Zelda. Uh, temples, gardens, whatever. Basically, it has a good memo. For those of you who feel sad about the ending of Nintendo Power, listen to what Max has to say. He states that none of this really is going away, is it? I mean, Nintendo Power was a great magazine. Had a great run. And you've got it all right here. It's like you finished a great game. You're kind to see it end. But you're really pr ha proud and happy too. And that's how you can tell the position. Front cover to back. And here. This one ends. Game over. Thank you for reading. Overall, what would I say about the final issue of Nintendo Power? I said, get it, get it, get it. Why are you still standing here? Why are you still standing here? Go and buy this. It's six bucks now. Sorry. Lost my cool there for a second. But still, if you're not going to buy this, you better get it. Because, from what I understand, these just got released. Barnes & Noble's started stocking these earlier this week. I just went to my local Walmart and picked this up today. Approximately five, six hours ago. And these were just released. There. No one had touched it. So yeah. Get this. If you are a hardcore Nintendo. I just got it for the issue, the look back. And a freaking cool poster. So. So you're not a Nintendo power. You did good.